Hello and welcome to my D&D &D full setup. Uh, this is a highly requested thing I've gotten from all of the videos I've done on D&D &D for Tabletop Simulator. Uh, many of you have asked where I gather my figurines, my light spheres, and other such useful stuff, and over the course of time have accumulated and organized a bunch of stuff, and I have finally decided and gotten the time to upload it all to the Steam Workshop. Uh, so here is the culmination of all of that organization for all of you to enjoy, and this is a quick uh, overview of this setup. Um, so if you have just downloaded this mod, the link will be in the video description. Um, you'd probably be watching through this iPad, um, and this is the, DN, the DM's perspective. Um, you have this uh, nifty little status effect markers that you can use tiles on your characters if you want to. This is an area of effect calculator, so you can right click it, select its state, and it gives you the dimensions of different spell areas. So say you have a uh, 60 foot radius spell effect, um, you just select that and then you go over to your grid and use the plus button to inflate it to the size of your your grid marks and you get the idea. And it's really useful, you can just plop it straight down there, it matches up with your grid nicely and it's really quick for um, doing a visual representation of how big uh, a grid effect would be. Um, we have a old school style initiative tracker here with uh, a turn indicator, a round indicator, notes and names and such. Um, you can even set the state for the markers for the names, which will indicate like different colors, say it's an enemy and such like that. Um, we have a hourglass, it's a working hourglass. You can right click it and choose a five second tick mark um, all the way up to 300 seconds, and it's a, a cool way of keeping time if necessary. You have an old school stopwatch. Um, it does a 60 second tick only. Um, this is one of my favorite things. So this is a nice little dice roller tray that you can choose to roll manual dice like you have over here, or you have a dice calculator. So say I wanted to roll three D8, I hover over the D8 icon and click it three times and it'll spawn all of those dice, roll it for me, and then it will publish the sum of that result. Um, over here I have a tablet that I regularly use for background music. I suggest rpg.ambient-mixer.com and they have a plenty of background sounds, uh, samples that you can use. You play it up in your tablet and anybody in your remote session will be able to hear that. I have multiple weather generators, snow for instance, you just right click and set to snow on and then soon enough snow will start falling. Um, deactivate that real quick. I have two sound cubes and so you have a trigger effect so it's something that happens once like a horse neigh or a looping effect. So you can say we're the setting is we're by a lake and we can, I like to have a second one because a lot of times weather sounds collide. So we're by a lake, and I want to say it's raining. Uh, howling wind, stuff like that. So there you go. Um, it gives you the, the nice little concept of uh, kind of being in the moment and hearing the sounds of real life around you. Um, so that's the, the DM's perspective and all of his equipment, his or her equipment. Um, over here you have the players. So you have uh, spaces for six players um, and each of them has their own dice tray, dice calculator, a working dice tower. Keep in mind this dice tower only works if locked in place. So now I can grab my d6, hover it over the entrance, and it'll roll through and I get my, my dice outcome. You have a quick 5e player reference sheet um, which is super useful. Um, over here is just kind of decor and stuff. Uh, and lastly, this is all of my organized collections of various figurines and tiles. So I have a big bag of effects that you can search through. It has all sorts of weather effects and special magical things. Here is the light spheres that have been so commonly requested. Uh, buildings, uh, fighting NPC figurines, other such like nature figurine elements, uh, props for inside houses and such. You get the idea. And with that, that was my quick tour of my mod for Tabletop Simulator running D&D, &D, and I hope you enjoy.